Imagine you're hiking in Banff and suddenly you see a bear. The bear sees you. Let me ask you, right at that moment, as you're walking away from that bear, are you consciously thinking about taking your left, your right, and your left steps? Right. The answer is no, and that's because we have rogue soldiers. Not the rogue soldiers from Star Wars, but rogue neuron soldiers within our spinal cord. Our brain is like the general of an army. It makes executive orders. The neuron soldiers in our spinal cord receive and carry out those orders. But here's the twist. There are specialized rogue neurons within our spinal cord that don't need constant order from the brain and are capable of working all on their own. These rogue neurons help you and I to walk by forming a circuit called the Central Pattern Generator, or in short, CPG. Our CPG contains different groups of rogue neurons, and each group is unique because they have a different genetic makeup. In order to visualize that difference, we use molecular tricks to attach a fluorescent protein to a specific gene. The extra help makes this neuron shine bright under my microscope. And now I can focus my study on a genetically identical group of rogue neuron. This is what I'm doing for my PhD, where I'm studying a group of rogue neuron called the DI6 neuron. Let's say it's a rogue soldier inside the green wheel. I want to know which other rogue neuron do these green ones communicate with? Is it the red one or the purple one? Or maybe it's both. I also want to study the specific function of these rogue neurons by using genetic manipulation to remove these green rogue neurons from the CPG and see how our pattern of locomotion is changing. Are we still able to walk normally or do we start hopping like a bunny? My overall goal is to understand how the different group of rogue neurons are organized and can collectively help us walk. So, why should you care about understanding these rogue neurons and the CPG? We all take thousands of steps each day, and it just doesn't seem like a very impressive skill to have. But what if you were to suffer from a spinal cord injury, resulting in paralysis? Currently, over 86,000 Canadians are living with paralysis, and I want all of you over here to take a moment and imagine their lives. Think how difficult Performing daily tasks is for this patient. Think also about the emotional and financial stress it has on their loved ones. Paralysis is a serious problem that has no cure. With my research, my hope is to understand the CPG so that there can be therapies targeting these rogue neurons and help put the broken circuit back together. Thank you.